Talks, your daily dose of health and medical news. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'm going to talk about myocarditis or pericarditis incidence following mRNA COVID vaccination. In this population-based surveillance, the authors found that myocarditis or pericarditis 0 to 7 days after mRNA vaccination in persons aged 5 to 39 years occurred in approximately 1 in 2 lakh doses after the first dose and 1 in 30,000 doses after second dose of the primary series and 1 in 50,000 doses after the first booster. The incidence varied markedly by age and sex, however with a disproportionate number of cases occurring in male persons, notably among adolescents after dose 2 and first boosters. The authors observed incidence after first boosters was generally higher than after dose 1, consistent with reporting from Israel. However, in contrast to this earlier report, they did not consistently observe a lower incidence after the first booster than after the second dose in the primary vaccination series. Incidence rates of myocarditis or pericarditis observed in the VSD population were higher, particularly after first boosters, than those reported to the US. Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System or VAERS, but patterns noted by sex and age subgroups were similar. Now, rates in the VAERS report may be lower because of the passive nature of VAERS reporting versus VSD's identification of cases using active surveillance. Both VSD and VAERS found incidence rates during days 0 to 7 after vaccination that were higher than the pre pandemic background rates noted by Oster and colleagues. However, pre pandemic rates may not be directly comparable with post vaccination rates because under the diagnosis of myocarditis or pericarditis in this age range was more likely pre-pandemic than post-vaccination when surveillance was greater. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.